Hi everyone, this is Sultan with the W Funnels team. And in this video, I'll show you how you can assign the product for which you're creating this funnel using WP Funnels. So let's get started. As you can see, I already have the plugin installed and activated on my dashboard and I'm on the overview uh, tab within the plugin. Now, when you create a funnel, first thing you need to do is to choose what product this funnel is gonna be for, okay? So in that case, right now I'm gonna show you how you can assign that product for the funnel. So let me create a new funnel and let me import one of the templates. And once the template is imported, it's gonna take me to the funnel planning canvas, all right? So now uh, the first thing to do is to assign the product as I told you earlier, and you can do that in the checkout step. You can see it says no product added, all right? So when you want to assign the product for this funnel, you have to assign it in the checkout step. So just click on configure. And here, search for the product you want to add. So I want to add one of my uh, supplement products, which is going to be weight loss eight capsule. And this is added. All right. I'll just click on save changes. And there you go. The product has been uh, assigned to this funnel. Now I can go ahead and do the rest of the things required to complete this funnel. Now what will happen when you create a funnel from scratch? Let me just show you, right? Let me just save this and go back. And now I'm going to create another funnel, but this time I'm going to start from scratch. So initially it's going to ask me to give a name. I'm just going to name it funnel one. So let me click on create funnel and it's going to take me to this blank canvas. So where do I add the product? So this is the thing. When you start creating from scratch, again, the first thing to do is to add the three steps, landing, checkout, and thank you. So I'm going to add a landing page. There you go. The landing step is here. Then I'm going to add a checkout step. out one and I'll add a thank you step so you see these are the basic steps you need to include in your funnel all right now once I have the uh, steps import you can see on the checkout step there's that same message no product added so what you do is first thing first click on configure and assign the product uh, through this funnel. So I'm again can I add the same product here? There you go. And I'm gonna click on add product and save it. So once this is saved, you'll see that message is no longer there, which means the product has been assigned. Then I can proceed on connecting each step and then go ahead, design the funnel and execute the funnel however I need. All right. So that's it. That's how easily you can assign the product for which you're creating this funnel. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in one of my future videos. Take care.